Geography Group. The names of our members are Celine Ramdale, Malik Mitchell, Nicholas Sanka, and Isabel Torsteinson, who is not present at this time due to traveling priorities overseas due to previous engagements. So Malik, what is soil erosion? Soil erosion is the washing away of soil when there is no vegetation example. When water runs over soil, it takes out the first layer. In this case, fewer, veg fewer vegetation and plants will grow on this layer. So that when raindrops hit the soil, more of the soil will run off. Example, here. And Celine, can you tell us what is gullying? Gullying is the removal of soil along drainage lines by surface water runoff. Once started, gullying will continue to move headward. Like, as in, like along here, as they run along the drainage lines. And Malik, what are some practices that led to soil erosion? Some practices that, that led to soil, to soil erosion are when channeling water through unprotected soil or when there is no soil, well, less soil and no vegetation and runoff what runs over the soil or excessive clearing of land. methods of erosion saline. Some prevention methods are you can construct shoreline protection structures such as groins. As you can see in the model they are used here to protect the soil from going into the ocean. There are, these are used in Australia. There are other protection methods. These are, you can also plant trees so to hold together the soil and you can protect it from the impact of rain and you can bind the soil for sloping land with the roots. When planting trees, you can use the peer planting method. The peer planting method is the method when you plant trees 2 to 3 meters away on each side of the gully floor and then their roots create a damming effect which slows water flow and allows regrowth of plants. This method occurs in places such as New Zealand and USA. And Malik, what is some what <laughs> what is coastal erosion? Coastal erosion is the breaking down of rocks along the coastline as an effect of destructive waves. Some things that can contribute to this are hydraulic action, attrition, and abrasion. That's it. Okay, so I'll end it. Well, this was our project our geography project on erosion. Thank you.